And good afternoon, everybody. It looks like we are now live on Facebook, so that's great. So we're going to get started here on today's Wednesday webinar. And so this is going to be great. Today, we're going to talk about easy online ordering from the Norwest Scout Shop, which is going to be great. So Kim Grayboys is going to give us a demo. Literally, she walked me through a step-by-step. -step. So we're going to go through that today. That's going to be really great because just some new protocols and things to think about. And so we'll get going on that here in just a second. But first of all, of course, we're going to dive into the latest and greatest news here. So let's go into that. So first of all, I have an awesome guest today. It was another Chris, Chris Harold. He's going to talk to us about an interesting campaign that's going on about helping how we in the CPC and all of us awesome scouts can help ensure that camps stay open. So go ahead, Chris, give us a little synopsis of what's what's going on here. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Thanks, Chris. Well, so what's happening here is um, for the last year, we've been st uh, studying ourselves and along with our other uh, camp professionals in the camping community, how best to work with COVID in our camps. Um, we've studied camps that have run successfully. We've studied research that's been done on those camps and in the world of education where, where uh, learning has been happening in classrooms. And as a result, we've become convinced that we, are a, we have the tools and the know-how and the experience to reopen our camps. The challenge is uh, the state of Oregon has not yet provided the guidance that we need to be able to say that we can reopen. We're still under the restriction that we can't open at this point. Um, now we've been in communication regularly with the governor's office who oversees this along with the Oregon Health Authority, but we've not gotten green lighted for this yet. To encourage that green lighting to happen, to encourage the, the governor's office that we can open safely and impactfully for families and kids, um, we'd like your help. So uh, in coordination with the uh, Association of Oregon Camps, um, we are doing a letter writing campaign. Um, you can send that note either digitally um, through the governor's website or through a snail mail. And oh, there we go, look at that. <laughs> And you just go to our to our cbcbsa.org website to open Oregon camps, and it gives you all the instructions of how to do it. We even give you template letters um, if you don't want to be that creative. But if you want to be creative, include photos or send send a drawing. Um, we would like for scouts and parents both to participate in this. Um, scouts in particular, because in scouting right we're developing citizenship and so part of that is sharing our opinions with our elected leaders and so this is a, this is a way to do it so we put we put all the tools right in your place there in in your hands there please check out that site if you have any questions about our ability to to open safely or well contact me directly please i i really want to make sure that that you've got all the information as you're thinking about that important decision of, um, about camp this summer. But first, we have to be able to get the green light, and that's why we're asking for your help. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thanks, Chris. Thanks for letting us know. And as you can see here, gang, on this page here, it literally has a copy-paste uh, letter here that you can customize for your own. There's also one for the scouts, as Chris was saying. And then you can also send your opinion right to the governor's office, and that's actually a form that you can fill out, and uh, we give you some tips there. One key thing on that, if you do do the form, you'll see here on this on this, on this this page here, it actually says, be sure to click on the education drop down and not COVID. And that makes sure that the right people are going to get this message because they're, as Chris has told me, they're, they're getting inundated with COVID comments. So we want to make sure it gets to the, to the right people, right, Chris? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And really telling your, your, your story and having your scout tell their story, the impact of camp. And we all know how fantastic it is. So, so help us just uh, move this ball along in the right way. And that, that'll be super, super awesome. So excellent. Well, check that out at cpcbsa.org slash open Oregon camps. And thanks Chris for joining us. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks Chris. Thanks so much. 
All right, we'll go to the next news item here. Let me share my next page here. So a couple other quick things, speaking of scouting and restarting and all of that, for those of you who don't know, we keep emphasizing this on the past few webinars, but really, really important, really good stuff here on restarting scouting. So we actually have a meeting guide for this. And so you'll wanna check that out. Uh, you can go to cpcbsa.org slash webinars. It's also on our homepage too. So you can get a quick link to that. The guide is fantastic. I know I'm a scoutmaster for Troop 107 in Portland, Oregon, and, and we've been meeting in, in person, but it, we have a small, small group. So it's been really, really great. We've been meeting outdoors and following the protocols here and, and logging who's there and how everybody's feeling and all this kind of stuff. So we've been following that super easy to implement. And it's been really great. Boy, I tell you, the kids getting back together has just been, uh, it's been awesome, super, super awesome. And they've just been so excited. So, so check that out. Also here is the snack attack. The spring fundraiser is, is moving along. So don't forget if you haven't looked into this yet, some great resources there at cpcbsa.org slash snack attack. Some really, really fun things here you can share and post and, and support uh, scout units. And if your scout unit's not doing it, but you want to help out, you can drive people to the page as well, because it shows them how they can actually ask to receive information and then we'll line them up with a with a troop or a scout in their area or a, or a pack that's doing it and connect them. So that'd be great too. Of course, Camp for All is moving along as well. So go to cpcbsa.org slash start camp for all. And that's where you get step-by-step -step tools on promoting camp for all. So, because we all want to get out there and have an awesome time at camp and give, as we like to say, an unparalleled or world-class experience at camp. And this is, this is how we do it. So with your help, of course. So there's that. Okay, this is really exciting. So we teased this up last week, but it is official. It's officially launched Merit Badge Madness. So this is a part of the Advancement Academy that we launched ironically about a year ago when we decided we needed to go virtual for all of these things. So this is a, an enhanced, ever-improving model. And we've learned so much over the last year on doing these. And so we have a whole team of people. These are small group classes, if you will. So it's a, it's not quite one-on-one, -on -one, but I think we're keeping it below 15. And I think it's going to be about 10 to 12 scouts per per class, per, per merit badge course. So check that out. There is uh, just a ton of merit badges available. It seems to be continually growing as well. So this is going to start really around, uh, around spring break. So check that out. That's some really, really fun stuff. There are just so many merit badges. It's going to be great. So check that out at cpcbsa.org slash merit badge madness. Okay. A couple other real quick things here and just some quick dates to remember and, and know about here. You can see them here on this page. Age. But basically, we have a March 11th uh, that is coming up soon here. We have the council roundtable opening and district breakouts. We have uh, a virtual rendezvous happening. March 18th is the Salem Leadership Luncheon. April 3rd and 10th is the Commissioner's College. So that's actually open to anybody who wishes to really help their unit succeed there and, and learn some more about that. That's really, really great. April 17th is the Solve Spring Cleanup. You can actually go to Solve's website. Just do a quick search for that and, and uh, you'll see what the opportunities are for that. Some great way to serve the communities around our area there. And April 29th is the Cascadia District Impact Hour. And on May 20th and 21st, we have our annual Sporting Clay Shootout, 19th annual. Can you believe that? It's just, it's crazy how time flies. And this whole year is definitely flown by, hasn't it? And let's see here. In May 20th and 21st, again, that's the shootout we have in July. In August, we have NYLT, which is going to be awesome. And you can actually register right now for, for Powderhorn training as well. So check out our calendar at cpcbsa.org slash calendar. We also have this on our Facebook page, and we try and keep all these updated. So wherever you are, you can find out the latest and greatest on that. All right. One last quick thing here before we get into really the, the reason why you're here, the webinar today, is that we have... Uh, the summer camp countdown, I, as you know, is here. It's like it's almost 100 days. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. You can see the latest ticker on our homepage of the website as well. And it's clocking down by the minute, which is super fun. And so speaking of summer camp, summer camp staff opportunities are still open. So for if you've got youth in your vicinity that are 15 and up, they don't have to be scouts and can really join in and have a fantastic time in summer camp staff. So we're still looking for camp staffers there. And you can find out more at cbcbsa.org slash camp staff. And again, you'll find all this information out on our 
on our events page, page on Facebook and the calendar on the CPC website. And uh, all these webinars, as you know, if you've listened to them or watched them in the past, they are available at cpcbsa.org slash webinars. We do the video recording, not that you need to see my face, but we do the video recording and the audio recording as well. So you can just sort of tune in kind of like a podcast. So it makes it, trying to make it easy. Also on any of the webinars that we do, we really create a blog post out of it. So any of the resources, links, things like that. We try and make it as updated and, and actually we freshen it up as we go along when we find new resources. So those pages should become really great resources for you for whatever topic we're interested in. And speaking of which, if you ever have topics that you want to uh, ping us about or with, just feel free to message us on Facebook. That's a great way to connect with us. Or you can contact me at chris.bartell, that's C-H-R-I-S dot B-A-R-T-E-L-L at scouting.org. If you have ideas for, for webinars as well or things you'd like us to cover and dive deep in, too. So uh, let's see. All right. Enough of my babbling. As always, just like to do, do the little news update because today we're going to dive in to the Scout Shop now. So we're going to get a demo of how it works today. So it is a little bit different. Kim is going to give us the how to. She literally, I sat down with her, we we're wearing masks, of course, and, and she walked me through step by step. So you're going to see that this is about 20 minutes long. So feel free to dive in at your leisure. If, if, uh, if you don't have time now, or you want to check it out later, or you want to just go step by step again, we'll have this recorded so you can watch that, that demo. So she really walks us through you're going to be really impressed because the scout shop has so much gear, number one, which I'm always amazed at. And they've got a special going on that we'll talk about in a little bit. And also, uh, and they always do actually, but they're really customer service oriented. So they really want to help you out. And I know with, you know, all the patches and advancement and everything and running scout packs and troops and all of that, it can be, it can be kind of daunting. So Kim's going to walk us through step-by-step -step on how this all works. So let's take it away, Kim. Hi, everybody. We're going to give you a little tutorial on how to do our curbside online ordering. It's super simple. And so we will do a little step by step. Okay, so what do I do first? Tell me where to go. So you're going to go to cpcbsa.org slash scout shop. All right, cpcbsa.org slash scout shop. And you'll see the big red button that says place curbside pickup order here. And if you're um, ordering advancement, it is going to ask you um, for an advancement paperwork. So we're going to go to um, advancement first. All right. So we'll click on the Cub Scouts advancement items here. And so it'll ask you to download your um, advancement that you have submitted to Scoutbook. Okay, so when you, when you, um, if you fill out this form right here, this advancement report, you'll have to save it and print it because if you attach it just like this, after you fill it out, when it comes to us, it comes blank, just like this one is. So make sure if you do it with this form that you save it and then attach it. All right. So you click the little download button, different browsers act a bit different, but, uh, You'll definitely want to download this right to your local machine, just like Kim is saying, because if we if we just fill this out, if I start filling this out here and try and send this to her, it just won't save. So we do want to save a local, a local copy of this that we actually upload later, right? Mm -hmm. Great. Otherwise, um, you if you already have it on, you know, from Scoutbook, you can just browse your computer and then attach it there. Great. So let's assume I've got one saved. And then you just, after you've attached your, your advancement file. I, would say, I attach it here. Yeah. And I would just say, oh, we'll just attach something else just for fun. A scouting for food flyer. Okay. <laughs> so then you go to the next. And you start placing your order per um, what you need. So it has the Bobcat, it has the parent pin, the little certificate that goes with it, the eight count sheets. And if you scroll down, it'll um, have it for all of them. So then when you get to the loops, it'll say, click here to expand. And then you just put the quantity in that you need. Okay. 
Okay, and then it's giving me a subtotal there, which is <clears throat> awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so scroll all the way down. And then see, then there's your tiger rank. Right, let's, let's order a couple of tigers. And a couple of parent pins there. And we've got those loops. Remember, people, you can open this up here and it will, it should open. It's going also, there we are. And we can add a few more loops there. And then the shooting sports and. So it does have everything in here. I mean, every single, every single little loop and and button and pin and patch. And you're telling me. And like in the Weeblos, I think it also um, has some extra stuff, like the colors, because most scouts need mm. the colors. And on the arrow of light, they also they have the parent pin, but they also have a rank pin that the the lower. Um, levels don't have. That's that one right there. Okay. Okay. And then I'm down further. You can see that other insignia. So that would be some of your special patches. The journey to excellence. And they currently have just a generic gold one for everybody. So when you click on this, you would just pick the gold level one. And that would be for every scout in your unit and every leader. And they wear it on their right sleeve. And there's the Super the Nova Award and there's the outdoor activity. And right now is Pinewood Derby time. So we have the 2021 Pinewood Derby um, patches that hang from their pocket. Ooh, nice. So we've added a bunch of, and you were telling me that at the bottom, though, one important thing was all the, with the Cub Scouts, were the Pinewood Derby cars and things, right? So Yeah, so if you go into, um, so F Uniform Basics is just um, like the patches you would need mm -hmm. on your uniform, um, loops or numbers or den, any of that kind of stuff. Your neckerchiefs you might need for the, your crossover, your slides, your hats for crossover. And then in literature, it has all the different books that your scouts need, plus the leader books, the um, book covers, which we highly recommend. So it has any of that, it, you know, um, books and charts and things like that you would need. But one thing I want to point out is that at the very bottom of that mm -hmm. is Pinewood Derby cars. And they come 48 in a box, in a case, um, but you can order as many as you want. And so that's a good place to order your Pinewood Derby cars. That's great. Okay, so. Okay, and if there's something you don't see, like let's say you want to get a plaque to thank one of your leaders. So you can add that stuff on the board, bottom. Um, another thing you would add on the bottom, so you'd yeah, hit the save and add a row, is any segments. So the segments, let's say Pinewood Derby segments. And then just how many you need. And then that will, you know, then we can pull those items for you also. And does this just give you a heads up and that's yeah. what we're looking for and we can call you and then yes. ask, okay, what when kind we, of plaques yeah. do you have? And Yeah. So if you, you know, there's a way that you can um, find the exact plaque you want. If you go to the national website and just browse through what they have, you can get the number, the plaque number, and then you could put next to the word plaque, you could put the actual SKU number of what you want mm. if you have it. And that just makes it easier for us. So if I had it, I could just put in here plaque and I could say SKU 123456. Yeah. I click update. And then we know exactly what you want. Otherwise, we'll ask you questions to see what you want. So after you've selected everything for your order, yep. then you next. go to next. Okay. And then type in your information. And then hit next. And then you're going to select what scout shop. So you got to put um, what state you live in. Okay. No, no, 
Portland, Oregon. And then which scout shop? Norwest scout shop. And then if you're going to pick it up or if we're going to ship it to you. So if you're going to come to our curbside, you would put if you if you click on the ship to my address, then it will ask you for your address and then approximate time when you're going to. Um, okay. What you're going to when you're going to pick it up and it it'll say usually that you need at least 24 hours. Don't worry about that when we call you to get your um, payment information, just let us know that you need it sooner or there's a place on the bottom that you can also put that you need it sooner. Because sometimes it will only give you the choice of selecting it the next day. Okay, once you've filled out when you want to pick up your order, and then on the bottom, if usually it's over the phone credit card. And then you can put any comments, you know, in there. So like if it said 24 hours, you can say I need to pick it up today. I'm going to ask if you have Camp Chef products, because I actually saw in there that you have awesome Camp Chef products and I love Camp Chef. So. Yes, we do. And then review your order. Okay. And make sure when you review your order that everything is on there that you had selected. Because sometimes on those drop down tabs when you're ordering like advancement, it might collapse back up and if it's collapsed, it won't be on your list. So and everything looks good. Great, great. And then hit submit. And then it lets you know. So here's a question. Can I do Cub Scouts and Scouts BSA in the so, same order or would you no. recommend? So on this page where it says thank you, it says click here to place another order. Okay. So you should do separate orders. It won't that. let you, it won't let you toggle back and okay. forth. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Okay. So then I would do the same thing. But go into like the Boy Scout uniform stuff. Okay. And if you don't know your sizing, you can go by that. But I would, I just tell people to go by what they're wearing now. Okay. So I go to, I can go to uniform. So guy. go down. Okay. I would just go down to the bottom. Okay. Go down and where it says next, hit next. And then start your order here. Excellent. So there's the youth sizes, the adult sizes. There's the skorts, the pants, the, you know, shorts, um, the different hats, different neckerchiefs. So in the neckerchiefs, click on the expand, click here and the, <clears throat> they don't give you um, a lot of choices. So if you want neckerchiefs, just click on one that's the closest to what you would normally order. And then at the end, you can write the color that you actually wanted. And if you want to get the SKU number, you can get that number off the national website. They probably have all of them, but on these job forms, they only give you a few to select from. Okay. So and then, that's the same kind of thing as before. I go to the scoutshop.org and I can look and search through there and get, and their, get like the number. The purple one. Or, or you can, yeah, or you can call the store and we can help you with okay. that. And then the slides and then the different. Um, things that you would put on your uniform, unit numbers, but something nice in this one, there's merit badge sashes, the sash pin, but, uh, and we have three different sizes now. They're, the most common is the 36 inch, but now we have an extra long one. And we highly recommend the sash pin with it because when you put merit badges on your sash, it makes it rotate and fall off and this holds it in place on your shoulder. But something that's new on this one is it has the scout gear needed. Ooh. And oh, it offers some backpacks. And it also, if you scroll down, it offers knives and. Well, that's great. And what I like, and I was I was so surprised at is, is here at the scout shop, you have real branded gear yeah and, and our I, and our prices really, really are comparable to the other people that are out there and our osprey backpacks have a lifetime warranty right i mean you've got petzl lamps and headlamps and and the osprey packs we have the, leathermans it's great it's such good stuff and so yeah you can actually you can price shop if you want and and right now you've got a deal going on and so 
that's something to be aware of. And so what should people call and ask you kind of what's yeah. going on with deals? They it can seems tell like us what they're something. looking for. And right now we have a, a, a deal on some of our camping gear on select items. Sporks, who doesn't need more sporks? You can always get the sporks, always need more sporks. And the Nalgene bottles, the real deal Nalgene bottles, that's great, that's yep. really great. Awesome, okay, so I click and then same thing as before, I could uh -huh. actually do add something if there was something else I wanted, if there was, you know, you know, Jambo shirts. Do you have any old jam old Jambo shirts? I don't know. We'll just throw that in there. And then we'll save and add row. And then we would ask you what you're looking for and what we might have and what your size is. And great. And then it goes to your contact information again. Great. So same thing as before. We fill all this out. And mm -hmm. then you actually get to do the select your time and all of that yeah. kind of, kind of uh -huh. just like before. Okay, well, that's that's super easy. And then once you hit that submit button, it comes to my email and we print it out and we look at it and see if there might be something that you're missing. So let's say you selected um, some pants and we might ask if you need a belt or you picked um, a new shirt but you didn't pick that you needed the patches or the green loops for the shoulders. So we will ask you that kind of information um, to make sure that you have everything that you need. And you can ask us any questions at that time that you want. And then we'll get your credit card number. We'll collect all your items, ring it up. And then um, we will put a receipt in your package and we will also email you a receipt. And then you just come anytime and or send somebody else to pick it up. You don't have to be the one that picks it up. They just tell us who they're picking up for. And they call us, they pull into one of our little curbside spots, call us on the phone, let us know who they're picking up for, and we will run the order out to the car. Great. Okay. So, and it's all, yeah, that's really, really awesome. Now you also mentioned to me that, so anybody really can order. So anybody could in Oregon yes, uh, or Even, in Washington, I yeah. mean, actually all actuality, anybody could order. Anyone, you could, us. you could have grandparents that live clear over in Michigan and they could place an order, you know, for you to pick up um, for their grandchildren, or they could place an order and have us ship it to their grandchildren's house. So, so idea. anyone can do that. I'm thinking a new Osprey backpack for uh, for Susie Scout would be ideal for her birthday. Yeah. Uh, tell grandma and grandpa. That'd be awesome. Okay, great. So the same as before, we just do, we can review the order and schedule the So now I think that you need to go back and order that Osprey pack. So you, oh. you ordered some a sash and some neckerchiefs, but you really want that Osprey pack right. for your niece. So go back down to the bottom, go back and go back to that page that showed the, um, the backpacks. Keep hitting that back yep, button. Yep, just keep hitting that back button. And I'll scroll down the bottom because that was in the extras. Yeah, so, you know, yeah, that's a nice pack. 10 of them, oh, I don't want that. I just want one. <laughs> Love to give them to friends, but yeah, and a, maybe okay. a sleeping bag Ooh, or a mess yeah. kit. So we'll look at the sleeping bags, and these are great. I mean, it's the real deal, climate branded. I mean, you have the other ones as well, so it really it's it's a price difference, you know, which is which is which is huge, uh, but it is the real. The real and that one is a zero degree, also yeah, right. So and you zero. said you had that that yeah, sleeping these, pad that you really are, like. These are great. Fantastic sleeping pads. Awesome. Ooh, these are really good too, actually. Those those lamps, holy cow, they are fantastic. All right, so I'll add these to the card. I'm gonna get a couple for the other scouts. I like the Lucy lights because they're mm. solar powered and they collapse because you just fill them with air. Oh yeah, those are fun. Okay, so now I can add all of these to cart. So they're added now. So you'll just hit your forward button. Okay. Your next. And it'll, you can just keep pushing next because it saved all your other information. Great. Okay, that's awesome. That's nice. So what's great is it's very similar to any kind of online shopping. I mean, it's really, it really is easy. 
Yeah, Lucky. and then I would, you know, review it again. Mm -hmm. That looks great. So then go to the bottom and hit submit. Okay. Looks like I'm getting a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it really is easy and it's really preferred because it's safe for everybody and it's super fast. I mean, the ability to, to double check everything. And then you guys, I mean, just as we've been sitting here, you've gotten calls and you guys are great about, about answering any questions. And because it is, it can be, I think for new, for newbies, it can be kind of daunting. You know, it's, uh -huh. it's so many things to have to choose from, but this definitely makes it really, really easy uh, to, to manage, which is really, really nice. And we can, even when you order uniforms, we can sew the patches on your uniforms for you and we can have everything ready to go. So all you have to do is come and pick up your package. You just pull into one of our curbside spots, uh, call us on the phone, tell us who you are, what you're picking up, and we will run it out to your car and you don't even have to get out of your car in this rainy weather. And that's really the the gist of it. It's really, really easy to do. You can uh, order basically online, just like ordering anything online. But the benefit is it's it's kind of like having a customer service representative right there that you actually can talk to. And so let me give you a couple of key takeaways here that, that Kim really wanted to emphasize. And I think were fantastic is basically you go to, first of all, go to cpcbsa.org slash scout shop. And there you can download the advancement form and, and fill all that out. So I'm actually going to go there right now. Let me just share my other screen here. Give me one moment here because here is, you did see it for a second there. We were having a little sound kerfuffle there at the beginning. So I'll just dive into what was at the beginning. Basically go to cpcbsa.org slash scout shop and it will redirect you here to this to this place where it resides. And, uh, and basically there is immediately a button that says place your curbside pickup order here. If you click on that, that's what's going to take you to the form that we were just walking through with, with Kim. And But if you haven't downloaded this, this is what is really important in, is the advancement form. So scroll down a little bit here and you can download the advancement report. And what that does is that's going to, depending on your browser, so they act, so some of them act a little bit different. So what it's going to download is this form right here that you saw with Kim. But this is really, really key is that you do want to either you do want to download it. In this case, I'm in Chrome and I can download it here and save it to your local drive. If I start filling this out here and you saw this a bit in the demo is that it, it won't save. It's sitting here in the browser. And so you really do need to make a local copy of it and save it. The best thing to do, I think, is you save it, you close it you reopen it and make sure that all of your information is saved there. That'll just, that'll just make life easier in terms of getting the order fulfilled. So you'll definitely want to do that. Um, and then you can basically go back here. So you've downloaded your advancement report and then you can place your online order, which is what we showed you uh, previously. And it really is simple. You basically click on whatever you want here, either Cub Scouts or Scouts BSA advancement items or the, the gear itself, the, the uniforms and all of the other gear. So you'll find that there. You do, as she, as she mentioned, you do basically need to place separate orders and that's typically set up because one advancement chair is doing it for uh, a Scout unit versus, or a Scouts BSA unit versus a Cub Scout unit. So so, so that's why it's a little bit separated, but easy to do. It does remember your information and, and allows you to do that. So let me go back to my other screen here. Oh, you know, the last thing too, I'm just going to share this too, is really the thing to, to remember is that you should, you should call them anytime. Uh, they're just fantastic. You can reach out to them and, uh, and ask any questions. It's really, really great. Uh, you can call them there at 503-243-5022. I'll, I'll share my other screen because I actually have that on the screen here. So uh, back to the, the ordering. So you'll place your orders, any kind of uniforms, things like that. Just go with your regular size. It's, it's, it's pretty accurate. They have the pants and the shirts and all that kind of jazz. And, and really for, for boys and girls and all that adults, great sizes for everything. And if you don't see something on that form, so there's on the or online order form, there's literally like everything there. But if there is something unique that you don't see, as Kim mentioned, go to scoutshop.org. 
and find the SKU there, the actual number, the, the product number, and you can send that over to, to Kim and she'll help you figure that out and get what you need there. So they can get anything you need from scoutshaft.org. This just happens to be local and more customer service oriented because typically there's just a lot of questions when it comes to advancement and things like that. Like that. What kind of patches can I get and things of that nature? And then you schedule a time for either pickup or we can send you the order. So that's really fantastic just like Amazon, except you get actual human customer service, which is really, really, really nice. But we are trying to keep it COVID safe and trying to just do the curbside pickup, trying to keep the traffic to a minimum. And the reason is if you haven't been to the scout shop, it just has narrow passageways and things like that. So, and it's a, it's a fairly small venue. So we just want to keep as few uh, human bodies in there as, as possible and, and keep everything safe. So, uh, but this is super easy. Now that said, uh, what's uh, the other thing that's neat here is you can see on number seven here is that you can have anybody order for your scout. So that's, what's really, really awesome is that grandparents can order gifts and things like that. And then you can either pick it up or have it shipped right to you. So that's kind of a fun thing to do as well. And just remember, boy, you can get everything there. You know, you get your, your badges, your awards, your patches, the gear, and they'll even sew things on for you. So that's a really, and it's super inexpensive. So you can ask them about that. They'll sew all the patches on. And, uh, and so that's a really, really helpful thing. And again, call them if you have any questions at 503-243-5022. And as you can see here on this slide, for those of you who are watching is that, that, uh, and for those of you listening, I'll just mention this, is that you get real brands. So for the gear, I mean, the first time I went in there, I was blown away. I was shocked. It's like a mini little REI, you know, they've got all this great gear, the Osprey packs. The last time I was in there is, as you can see on this next slide here, is that they have a gear sale going on right now. And so it's, uh, it's select items. When I was in there last, they had backpacks, Osprey backpacks for 25% off. So, so I highly highly recommend just give me a call if you're curious about, hey, do you have this? Do you carry this? Because they do have all this great gear that uh, that you that all the scouts need. I mean, your regular, your your first aid kits and, and uh, survive outdoors longer kits. They've got uh, chairs and tents and sleeping bags and kind of all that stuff. So, hey, why not price shop and, and see how it goes and support the local scout shop? It'd be great. So anyway, that's you can find out more information at cpcbsa.org slash Scout shop. Again, you can then give them a call at 503-243-5022 at any time and, and get more information there. All right. That's about it for this week. I just wanted to give you that demo and uh, hope that makes things easy. It really was easy. I was I was really impressed and it's, it's super simple. And again, with the questions, the beauty of having somebody who's actually customer service oriented just right there when you can just ask them at any time uh, just by giving them a call is just so, so great. And they literally come running out and fulfill your order for you. I saw it happen while we were doing the demo. So it was very impressive. Uh, la lastly here, it's for next week. All right, Cub Scout folks, this is going to be really fun. We are going to learn how to run a virtual Pinewood Derby. So tune in next Wednesday at noon. You can sign up also on our Facebook page. We'll also send this out in our Compass Points email newsletter. So you'll have a link there. There is a crew who put this together, a virtual Pinewood Derby. A couple of you out there have been doing this. And so we reeled somebody in to give us a, give us a, a little how-to guide. They learned a lot and it was so successful on so many levels, not just the kids really enjoying it. They put on quite a show. It was really, really great and everybody could watch they get have grandparents watch and cheer and things like that and it actually became a great little fundraiser for them too so check that out uh, thanks again to everybody who's joined us for all of these webinars super excited to host these for you hopefully you're getting a lot out of it at minimum tune in for the first five minutes get the latest and greatest news things are shifting and changing seemingly still but we also have some great great programming happening including including the new merit badge madness so watch out for that there's a cub scout program coming up here pretty soon too which is going to be great so more on that later. Thanks again for joining us, gang. Really appreciate it. Uh, and, oh, I should check one last thing on Facebook, see if we had any other questions. Uh, somebody had just asked about, uh, about the SKUs and going and whether or not there was an online catalog. So I do want to emphasize that fact for us. You can go again to scoutshop.org. That's your best sort of shop online shopping if you kind of want more of that sh online shopping experience versus just the list. And they can get you anything that's there. So, so check that out. Anyway, join us next week. Thanks so much for joining us. And we'll talk to you then. Thanks again. And have a fantastic rest of your afternoon. Bye-bye.